Good morning, prayer warriors. So today is January 2nd. You know, we are starting our year with uh, a bang because we will make, I don't know with you guys, but I made a decision that I will continue to do my daily prayers and to work on becoming closer to God. So I hope that you will be with me, especially all the prayer warriors that have been with me, you know, for the last almost two years that we will continue our journey because all of us still need each other to reach sanctification. Because if you notice in Mark's gospel that Jesus, you know, when he sends the apostles, they always he always sent in them with a companion. You know, they sent, Jesus sent the apostles, or Peter sends the apostles two by two. Because when we are in our journey to be closer to God, to holiness, we need someone else to go with us. So that when we become weak, that person will inspire us to continue our journey or we are the one who are going to inspire that person to continue the journey to holiness because we could not be complacent because the devil and Satan are cunning and working overtime, you know, and their job is to tempt us so that we all going to fall into sin. And the longer we stay in that sin, right, we could not see the light of Christ. That's the message of epiphany. You know, when the three kings went to see Herod on the way to see the Messiah following the stars, they they look, they miss the star. The star is not there bright and shining to guide them because they were with a person who's sinful, you know, whose main job is to gain power and everything that the world you know, see as the most that there are more important than being holy and to serve others. So I hope that we are all gonna journey together and keep the light of Christ, the star of Christ that He gave us, you know, during our baptism. So hi Malu, thank you for joining from uh New York, you know. I, I miss you guys and and hi, Che. Thank you for joining from Texas. And Ami, you know, all my friends, of course, my classmates are all here. Um, and uh, Rosario, thank you for joining from, I think, Igbaras. I'm not sure. But uh, welcome to the Prayer Warriors. And I hope that you're going to invite your friends to be a prayer warrior because our world, needs people to pray you know so to intercede for others who doesn't believe in god so i want to continue uh, our talk about the public ministry of jesus because during the baptism of jesus that's when jesus accepted of course he accepted his mission long time ago but this is like a public acceptance of jesus to start his mission to redeem the world and this happened, you know, when St. John, hello, Tita Nori, thank you for joining from Tucson, Arizona, and baby Ku Ekube, I don't know, maybe you are joining from Igbaras, so welcome. Oh, Doha, Qatar, welcome, thank you for joining the prayer warriors. So the, the baptism of Jesus, you know, in Jordan, if you guys have been to Jordan, it's, uh, it's a big river and there's on the both sides of the rivers there's john baptizing the prostitutes the pharisees the sadducees you know and forgiving them of their sins you know removing all the sins from them by baptizing them and there comes jesus right coming and of course saint john was hesitant to baptize Jesus because he knows Jesus. St. Jesus is the Messiah. St. John is the precursor of Jesus. He is paving the way for Jesus. And now Jesus came and wants to be baptized. So St. John 
hesitated, but Jesus said that he needs to do it because he wants people to see, you know, the believers to see that this is now the start of his public ministry and that he will also show that during his baptism that the three persons of God is present in that baptism. Okay? The God the Father was, you could hear the God the Father proclaiming and presenting his son that we all need to listen to him and God the Son of course, Jesus and God, the Holy Spirit, in form of a dove, came, you know, to show that he is there. You know, God, the Holy Spirit is there to guide Jesus to accomplish his mission. And you know that during our baptism, we all are given the same thing, that God, the Holy Spirit, was given to us, okay, to guide us to uh, become strong so that we could return to heaven okay that's the mission of the holy spirit in the scripture you see that it the holy spirit will um what you call this will convict the sinners like it's not like conviction like when you are in court you know in our modern world but conviction that we will see you know what are we doing wrong with our life you know what what are we doing that are not pleasing to God? That's the Holy Spirit's promptings in our heart. So, hello, Doc Sonny. Thank you for joining from Polomolok always. And Sally, thank you for joining us. And Joseph, thank you for joining with Nining Geraldine. And of course, Sarah. Hi, Sar. Thank you for joining from Japan. And oh, my goodness, Nining Mercy. Thank you for joining us from London. And Mom Irene, thank you. We're going to pray you for your, because your birthday is coming. And um, we'll pray for all the birthday celebrants for January as well. So in catechism, I want to, so why did Jesus, you know, needs to be baptized when is Jesus, is Jesus a sinner like us? Why did he want to be baptized? Okay. So. The baptism of Jesus, okay, is on his part the acceptance and inauguration of his mission as God's suffering servant. Listen, suffering servant, because you will remember that all the time when we refer to Jesus and the leadership that he is, he wants all of us to follow is a suffering servant, always a servant. Being a, lead, a leader, but also a servant leader. He allows himself to be numbered among sinners. He is already the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. That is in John 1 verse 29. Already he anticipating the baptism of his bloody death. Already he is coming to fulfill all righteousness that is he is submitting himself entirely to his father's will. Out of love, he consents to this baptism of death for the remission of our sins. The father's voice responds to the son's acceptance, proclaiming his entire delight in his son, the spirit whom Jesus process in fullness from his conception comes to rest on him. Jesus will be the source of the spirit to all mankind. So that's why I was saying that the light of Christ, the light of Christ, because Christ is full of the Holy Spirit when he was baptized. And we also have, are full with the Holy Spirit when we were baptized. So you know, in our life, there should be a light, the light of Christ all the time. But sometimes the light of Christ flicker or is about to die because we don't nourish ourselves. We don't nourish ourselves with the words of God or receive the body, blood, and divinity, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. So 
that's the reason why we need to go to mass okay the mass is where we receive all of these things we could not fight the devil if we are not nourished the same as to our physical self if we don't nourish with food then we could not fight the illness we could not fight covid when we are malnourished and we don't have the antibodies right our body produces these antibodies to fight all the diseases especially covid the same thing we could not fight the devil if we are malnourished from the light and the body and blood soul and divinity of jesus christ when we don't receive the sacrament of the holy eucharist so through the baptism the christian is sacramentally assimilated to jesus who is his own baptism anticipates his death and resurrection the christian must enter into this mystery of humble self abasement and repentance go down into the water with jesus in order to rise with him again be reborn of the water and the spirit so as to become the father's beloved son in the in the son okay s o n and walk in newness of life that's why when we are baptized we are reborn okay this is this is the rebirth of us so if we you know how our brothers and sisters have said they are they are born again we don't have to be born again because we are when we were baptized we were reborn that's our rebirth when all the original sin was removed during our baptism then we were reborn so we don't go we don't become born again christians we were reborn when we were baptized in the catholic church okay so in um catechism 628 and this is by saint gregory of nacianzus okay so um he said let us be buried with christ by baptism and rise with him let us go down with him to be raised with him and let us rise with him to be glorified with him everything that happened to christ let us know that after the bath of water the holy spirit swoops down upon us from high heaven and that adapted by the father's voice we become sons of god so that's why we want our children in infancy infancy to be baptized right away because we want them to become to belong in the family of god we want to become we want them to become sons and daughters of god just like us so today we want to meditate again the public ministry of jesus which is the luminous mysteries and you know how the protestant our protestant friends will tell us that we keep on repeating the same rosary prayer of hail mary and our father over and over and why are we doing that okay is because we should we is our way of showing love when we love someone we keep on telling them that we love them you know the same thing when we love god we keep on praising and adoring god over and over and that is the rosary and another analogy of that is every rosary that we pray is not the same because every rosary that we pray there's a different lesson that god tells us on that specific time so then when it's the same as the air that we breath we breathe right we breathe the air we expel them yes we breath do we breathe the same air over and over of course not okay the same thing when we pray the rosary is the same prayer hail mary our father and glory be but it's different lesson that god wants us to hear that day that want us to teach us that day or that very moment so we continue to pray because saint benedict said that through our prayers we could save the world right we could save ourselves our own family so we keep doing that 
because we know that it works. So hi, hello, Tita Mimi. Thank you for joining from Tucson and Manang Cecil. Thank you for joining from Manila and Glisa. Welcome. Thank you for joining from Singapore. So let's quiet ourselves. Okay, and if you are um, able to go to YouTube and follow me through YouTube, that will be better because we need to have uh, hours in YouTube to maintain our channel so that our channel would not go down and all the teachings that I uploaded in this channel will not be lost because in FB, for some time, the, the um, video will be removed so in youtube it's permanent so that we all could review it over and over if we have questions about our faith so let's quiet ourselves and put ourselves in the midst of the angels and saints as they are praying with us and we believe in the communion of saints let's take a few deep breaths and fill our lungs with air and with that we inhale the Holy Spirit hold it for four and let your lungs expand and slowly breathe out the bad air our guilt our anxieties our hate and expel them out so that we will have a place for the Holy Spirit to dwell in us and convict us with our sins so we become closer to God. Let's take another deep breath. Hold it. And let go. And now you feel that your whole body, your whole body is relaxed and ready to receive the message of God as we pray and meditate on the luminous mysteries. Come, O Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary your well-beloved spouse. As we start the year, help us to examine our lives, the areas of our lives that is preventing us to become closer to God, or worse, keep on offending God. Give us courage to change our ways so that we'll become pleasing to Him and that we could be light to our brothers and sisters who God sent us our way. Let's ask for the intercession of St. Michael to protect our family, especially our children. St. Raphael intercede for us and heal those who are long-term illness and are still fighting their lives because they got COVID. Heal them. Heal the healthcare providers because I know that they're all overwhelmed and tired of the continuous rising of the COVID cases again. Now let's invite our families and friends who have gone before us to pray with us today. I'm inviting my Lolas and my godparents and my two Father Sedantes and Father Fruto and my Tita Ines to pray with us today.
and we ask God to give us the grace of humility so we will be able to serve him. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear, hear us. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, Grant me the grace to desire it. We adore you, O Lord, and we thank you for the many blessings we received, especially for the gift of the Eucharist. So we offer this prayer for the following intention. For thanksgiving, for the increase in moral integrity of humankind, especially the Filipinos and the Americans, for the leaders, so that they will protect life from conception to death, and for those infected with COVID, especially Artie Jr., Dominic, Violeta Marfil, Indaijo and family, Ninoy and family, and for those who succumb to it, especially Joman Eccles, or Idair, Edita Escamillan, Oyo Istoliga, Yongjin Espino, Josie Diagnetti, Larry Lehman, Kenneth Kusniki, Lucy Pido, Father Ubald, Helen Jesmo Hinon, Larry Di Mayo, and Joven Elevado. For good health of those celebrating their birthdays this month, especially my sister Nini Pong and my sister-in-law Arlene, Gonzaga in the Grace Marania and Mom Irene Delgado. For safety of all frontliners, especially my co-workers, the secretaries, paramedics, housekeepers, food services, transporters, the scribes, especially the priests who are giving the last rites for safety of all OFW, especially Kim Ifon, Roger Perez, Elena Delibo, Eric Esperida, Lota Gallagas, Mila Dizon, Mary Grace Yuxoya, and Liza Fabiano. For all IDPNs, so we will focus on our mission of building a culture of caring that we will rejoice for all our successes, but most of all, to defend those who could not speak up for themselves and to alleviate the sufferings of others. For those who are looking for jobs, may they find dignified work. And for those having financial difficulties, may they find comfort from those who have plenty. For special intentions of Father Miguel, Father Butch Espeleta, Father Tim Meliesa, Marwen Nang Baby Meritzielo, Eddie Vargas, Amy Olson, Ninoy Espania, Flora Bartosilio, Doxon and Nibia de Villa, Carrie and Chris, Val Boatner, Mary Lou Ilamparo, Mamiletti and Artie, the Tanalion family, and Nick Carol Colado for healing of body and spirit of the following Tito Rob, Chris Mavilasquez, Andy Pruitt, Naidal, Tita Fe, Wise, Margaret and Rick Cross, Leo Tolentino, Florencia de la Papa, Artenio. Arlene Olivares, Jan Ray Panes, Sami Madden, Carol Ipulong, Remia Santander, Tess Eluso, Cecilia and Henry, Eje Eliana, 
Elsa Escaran, Carol Grace Euphemia, Marina Parino, Benedicto Bordador, Patsy Arandia, Hermogenes Britannico, Luci Santander, Daughter Subhomileti, Mary Grace Idhan, Yvette, Father Martin Nylan, Mugs Espana, Son of Tita Becky, Tita Eve Poras, Tito June, Tito Rowley, Tito Henry, Tito Elmer, Sally Ioi, Tita Nori Rikers, Tito Enrico, Shelman Duck, Arlene Ismediana, Jesus Martinez, Rochelle Kimtang, Tan Wen, Luisa Alparo, Father Matthias Felon, Evelyn Bolivar, Mariel Makuha Manahan, Richard Eckley, Rosemary Oviedo, Christian Kai, Beatrice Echaleco, Father Biben, Beatrice Estopado, Valentin Talibo, Mario Edison, Josefina Iscanlar, Jan Jesso Samonteza, Mateo Asuncion, Bernadette Macado, Lina Elera, Nick Ervite, Andrew Olson, Mary Grace Escobanias, Antonio Iscamilian, Anthony Anthony, Maria, Lourdes, Antonio Rojas, Lucila Advincula, Garnet, and Pamela and Vivian Estrada, Pipito Quinones, Michael Widdup, James Whitmore, Analea Alentuga, Mercibel Inso, and Mirna Tandog. For those called by God ahead of us, may they be granted eternal rest and consolation to the family, especially Elias Sufficien. Sufficiencia, Freddy Combate, Rodrigo Esteva, Exaltacion Albao, Eliseo Ismediana, Tita Pilar Cartagena, Jose Efondo, Tita Nene Hinko, Dan Ralph, Tita Ore, June Paul Hefes, Cosette de Guzman, Romeo Elicania, Philip Garaga, J. Estoral, Janeline Tabugso, Maria Tiboy Meliesa, Adela Insiquio Yugalca, Juan Escaba, Ua Esteva, Jose Munot, Lolin Guillén, Lilia Estolero, Samuel Fabrigo, Lolita Echaleco, Ramon and Cecilia Esmores, Salvador and Mario Bartosilio, Romeo Encinari, Sonny Encanto, Ruel Mendoza, Sweet Emmanuel, Warlito Espirito, Nico Bustarga, Solficia Dula, Pablito Hilasan, Tito Moya, Sosimo Ilambre, Fredo Yugalca, Elsa Estraza, Rick and Mirna Dagdagan, Kurt Bustillo, Crisanto Estoleros, Hiron Himulaga, Magsi Kugal, Father Rineri Galado, Adelaida Estocado, Angeles Staton, Felipe Idang, Lourdes Ilamparo, Angelo and Irene Loizaga, Antonio Escatron, Stephen and Lourdes Lipianek, Jose Santiago Castello, Charles West, Menard Mina, Farouk, MJ Scanyan, Mario Vachon and Antonio Gonzaga, Alma and Andy Estrebor, Jovito, Gatpatan, Maricor Iskandar, Connie Thelma Ben and Raphael Rapatan, Salvacion and Rosario Meliesa, Benito and Tessa Esmeralda, John D. Hoff, Maria Cervantes, Asot and Rosalie Spelletta, Noe and Estela Hubero, Antonio Bolivar, Milagros Idhan, Gregorio Encho, Francisco Panes, Rogelio Omilig, Sandra Notida, Louis Munoz, Peter Ophelia Turter, Danilo Tanises, Serino and Priscilla and Vicente Macado, Victor Jr., Grandma Marilyn, Lolita Esteba, Imet and Jovel Esterta, Mario and Porfirio Ilambre, Aida Asuncion, Willie de Ramas, Estrella Estil, Marialen Flores, Gemma Cudumal, Cynthia Gavile, Boy Noblesa, Antonio Esteba, Sidra Embortorio, Arnold and Reneo Eraldo, Jose and Beverly Echeverria, Fermina and Alberto Estember, Rosario Erdao, Jescoro Heredia, Jolito Galientes, Danilo Ilamparo, Eric Espada, and Solidad Zumbilon. Now let's free 10,000 souls from purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Let's pray for our priest. May God send us holy and courageous priests and also for the increase in vocation, especially for the following seminarians, Arnel Tagulala, John Saavedra, Dennis Lacerna Marcos, Rafael Colambot, Tito Bob, Tito Bob Imagi, Charles Villanueva, Juan Arnaez, Jerome Arizuelo, Robert Ducado, Clifford Espinosa, Clyde Yucashon, and Primo Yaiti. 
O Jesus, our great high priest, hear our humble prayers on behalf of thy priest. Give them a deep faith, a bright and firm hope, and a burning love which will ever increase in the course of their priestly life. In their loneliness, comfort them. In their sorrow, strengthen them. In their frustrations, point out to them that it is through suffering that the soul is purified. And show them that they are needed by the church, they are needed by souls, they are needed for the work of redemption. O loving Mother Mary, Mother of Priests, take to your heart your sons who are close to you because of their priestly ordination and because of the power which they have received to carry on the work of Christ in a world which needs them so much. Be their comfort, be their joy, be their strength, and especially help them to live and to defend the ideals of consecrated celibacy. Amen. Now, let's meditate the Luminous Mysteries. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life, everlasting. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the increase in the virtue of faith, hope, and charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of Jesus. Jesus, now 30 years of age, leaves Nazareth and journeys to the Jordan to be baptized by John. After his baptism, the heavens are torn as under. God affirms his beloved Son, and the fullness of the Spirit rests upon him. Jesus accepts his mission as God's suffering servant, fulfilling Isaiah's prophecy, and is manifested to Israel. His mission has begun. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. A man named John was sent from God. John 1 verse 6. God is the divine initiator. As master of the universe, he sets the plan of salvation in motion. Help us, dear Lord, to discern and fulfill our role in your plan of salvation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. John 1 verse 7. God sent John to awaken the heart and conscience of Israel by bearing witness to the coming light of Christ. Dear God, awaken our heart 
to desire all you have for us, the fullness of your spirit and the growth of your kingdom in our life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. Mark 1 verse 2 God always prepares the ground before he sends his heed. John the Baptist fulfills Isaiah's ancient prophecy and readies the soil of Israel. Thank you, Lord, for preparing our heart to receive Jesus, even when we don't always recognize your hand in our life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. A voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path. Mark 3, verse 3. Mark 1, verse 3. John's message is urgent. The God-man is coming and we must get ready. Jesus, help us prepare our heart to receive your Spirit. May your will be done in us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. Mark 1 verse 7 Humility is truth. John realized that he was only the messenger for Christ, the Son of the living God. O oh God, forgive us for not appreciating you for who you are. You are holy, the Lord God Almighty. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Mark 1 verse 8. Jan baptized with water from the earth. Jesus will baptize with fire from heaven. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your divine love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. It happened. In those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John, Mark 1 verse 9. Jesus, the Lamb of God, identifies himself with sinners and is baptized. As he enters the Jordan, Jesus anticipates his baptism of suffering. Jesus, you love us so much that you took on our humanity and identified with our sin. You will never let us go. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. On coming up off the water, he saw the heavens being torn open, and a spirit like a dove descending upon him. Mark 1 verse 10. God the Father unlocked the heavens, closed since Adam's fall, to reveal Jesus as Messiah and beloved Son. Jesus, you are the new Adam, the source of the Spirit for all humanity. Fill us today with your power. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now I have seen 
and a voice came from heavens you are my beloved son and with you i am well pleased mark 1 verse 11 god shows his full delight in his son who has accepted his mission O oh god only you can accomplish your work in us help us to accept our mission with its joys and sufferings, and to do your will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. John 1 verse 34. After our baptism, the Holy Spirit swoops down upon us, and we become sons of God, St. Hilary of Poitier. Jesus, I rejoice in the new life you give us every day. Protect us from sin, that we may walk in your spirit always. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. At Mary's request, Jesus works his first miracle displaying God's generous provision by changing water into enough wine for several weddings. He opens the hearts of his disciples to faith, to which we are all called in the proclamation of the kingdom. Mary notices the needs of others and commends them to Jesus. Shouldn't we do the same? When we bring our needs to Mary, she will take care of them with her son. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana and Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. John 2 verse 1 and 2. Jesus chooses a wedding as the site of his first miracle, revealing God's delight in the union of husband and wife, itself a sign of divine love. Lord Jesus, your presence brings us new joy and new life. We receive them both from you today with a grateful heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. John 2 verse 3 To be merciful is to have a heart distress at the distress of another. St. Thomas Aquinas O Mary, Help us to love with your heart, always concerned for the needs of others. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. John 2 verse 4 Jesus recognized in Mary's request his Father's prompting of mercy for humanity, which would eventually lead to his hour of suffering. He put the choice in Mary's hands. God, you have given us the power to choose the good. O Mary, Help us to do it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. John 2 verse 5 
Mary makes her decision to serve others, knowing it will lead to the death of her only son. Mary, you gave everything for us. Help us to follow your example and to do whatever Jesus tells us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now there were six stone water jars there for the Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jan, John 2 verse 6. The old law commanded ritual washing as a sign of Israel's need for purification. Jesus used the jars of the old covenant to make the wine of the new. O Lord, exchange our hardened judgmental heart for the new one of mercy and compassion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. John 2, ver John 2 verse 7. In obedience to Jesus, the servants do their task. Their faith shall be rewarded. O Lord, help us to obey you promptly, even when we don't understand. Jesus, we trust in you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus told them, Fill the jars with water, so they filled them. Then he told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it, John 2, verse 2 and 8. The obedient servants witnessed firsthand Jesus' astounding miracle. Jesus, you cannot be outdone in generosity or confidence. Help me step out in obedient faith today. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, but you have kept the good wine until now. John 2 verse 9 and 10. The new covenant begins as the ritual waters of the law are changed into the liberating wine of the Spirit. God, you are amazing. Thank you for transforming us into good wine for others. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs in Cana in Galilee, Galilee to reveal his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. John 2 verse 11. Jesus' miracle makes manifest the fulfillment of the wedding feast in the Father's kingdom, where the faithful will drink the new wine, the blood of Christ. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 1335. O Lord, help us to often receive the new wine, your blood, given for us in the Eucharist. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom. A light has shone. Isaiah 9 verse 1. Jesus fulfills ancient prophecy in bringing light through his first miracle in Cana of Galilee. O Lord, through your Spirit, help us to turn the water of this day's life into the wine of gladness and joy. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth, or the third is the proclamation of the kingdom and a call to conversion. Jesus preaches in the synagogues, streets and hills of Israel, offering individuals the fulfillment of all their hopes and dreams. People listen spellbound as he tells them how to enter the kingdom. Repent. Turn around and believe the good news. Jesus is knocking on the door of our hearts. We too must repent and believe that he is the answer, the one who will lead us to true and complete freedom. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. After John has been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God. Mark 1 verse 14. John has prepared a way. The moment has come, Jesus proclaims the kingdom. Lord, you have prepared the ground of our heart. Help us receive your kingdom today. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew, casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Mark 1, verse 16 to 17. We must convert to enter the kingdom. Simon and Andrew had a choice to make. Thank God they chose wisely. Dear God, how many times have you called our name? Help us today to respond with a heartfelt, Here I am, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. Mark 1, verse 18. Andrew and Simon abandoned their past to follow Jesus. From then on, they would use their nets for God's glory. Dear God, you gave us our talents and abilities. We surrender them to you. Help us use them for the kingdom. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The people were astonished as his teaching, for, the, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Mark 1 verse 22. Jesus proclaimed the gospel with authority and making an absolute claim on his listeners, as did the prophets of the old. O Lord, your word rings true to our heart. Let us hear your gospel with a fresh ears and a new heart, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Mark 2 verse 3. God rewards expectant, trusting faith. The friends of the paralytic seized their moment of opportunity and brought their friend to the Lord. Lord, please grant us faith the size of a mustard seed that we too may see the works of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. Mark 2 verse 4. These men were not only expectant, they were determined. God never withholds himself from the soul that perseveres. St. Teresa of Avila O God, you are closer to us right now from our very breath. Help us seek you until your love breaks through. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Child, your sins are forgiven. Mark 2 verse 5. Jesus proclaims the coming of the kingdom of God, calls to conversion, and forgive the sins of all who draw near to him. In humble trust. Pope St. John Paul II. O oh Lord, we feel overwhelmed by our failures and sins. Thank you forever for your forgiveness, which we receive over and over again in the sacrament of reconciliations. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. Mark 2, verse 11. Jesus first unbinds the paralytic souls, and then his body. He goes home a new man. O oh God, is there anything too hard for you? I just praise you for your unbelievable goodness to the children of men. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. Mark 2 verse 12 From his birth to his death, and everywhere in between, Jesus' obedience glorifies his Father. Lord, we too want to glorify you today. Help us follow you with expectant faith and ready obedience. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me, he has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners. Isaiah 61 verse 1 Anointed by the Spirit, Jesus fulfills Isaiah's thrilling prophecy, bringing God's kingdom to all through his preaching, healing, deliverance, and forgiveness of sins. Jesus. Help us to seek first your kingdom in our life, that we may walk in freedom and joy as God's beloved child. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth of the fourth mystery is the transfiguration. The transfiguration is par excellence, the mystery of life as Jesus reveals reveals his divinity to his disciples, preparing them for the sorrow of his passion and the triumph of his resurrection. It is a sign of the transformation that God wants to work in us as well. All of us, gazing with unveiled face on the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory as from the Lord who is the Spirit. 2 Corinthians Verse, for instance, 3 verse 18, 
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. Matthew 17, verse 1. Just as Moses climbed Mount Sinai and Elijah went, went up Mount Horeb, so Peter, James, and John followed Jesus up Mount Tabor in preparation for his ascent of Mount, Mount Calvary. Lord, help us to follow you through the mountains and valleys of our life, trusting you in both joy and sorrow to lead us to the Father's house. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. Matthew 17, verse 2. For a moment, Jesus allows his divinity to shine through his humanity as he radiates the glory of the only begotten Son of God. Lord, may we too reflect your glory as the light of the world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with them, with him. Matthew 17, verse 3. Moses, giver of the law, and Elijah's Israel greatest prophet, together represent the old covenant. Lord, the law and the prophets announce your suffering and subsequent glory. Help us to bear our cross patiently in the confident hope of entering your kingdom. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Matthew 17, verse 4. Whenever God reveals himself, the response is absolute awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Hebrew 12, verse 29. O oh God, thank you for revealing your glory in what is seen and unseen. Keep us close to you, O oh Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast shadow over them. Matthew 17, verse 5. The whole Trinity appeared, the Father in the voice, the Son in the man, the Spirit in the shining cloud, St. Thomas Aquinas. Lord, your transfiguration is a foretaste of your glorious coming, when you will make our bodies like your own in glory, if only we suffer with you so as to reign with you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In Jesus' baptism, his heavenly Father spoke to him. In the transfiguration, God speaks to us. Listen to him. Lord Jesus, your Father echoes Mary's direction to the wedding servants at Cana. Help us to listen to you and do whatever you tell us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When the disciples heard this, 
They fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and do not be afraid. Matthew 17, verse 6 to 7. Though he is an awesome God, the Father gives us Jesus so we can approach him in peace and confidence. O oh God, today I put our trust in you. Help us to be not afraid, regardless of what we may encounter, for you are an ever-present help in distress. Psalm 46, verse 2. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. Matthew 17, verse 8. In the Transfiguration, Jesus rewarded Peter, James, and John for prayerfully and faithfully following him, and at the same time prepare them for their ministry as servant leaders. Please send your Spirit upon us, Lord, that we too may see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly day by day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Matthew 17, verse 9. Jesus is the Son who will be obedient unto death and then will be raised to reign forever. Jesus, we find ourselves wanting your glory while avoiding your cross, yet you show us that both are necessary if we are going to win the victory with you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord, who said to me, You are my son, today I am your father. Psalm 2, verse 7. Jesus fulfills David's psalm as the true son who will carry out the Father's will and win salvation for humanity. Lord, may your presence in our life help us carry my, our cross and come with you to the joy of the resurrection and a life transfigured by the Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth is the institution of the Eucharist. As the apostles gather in the holy city for Israel's most solemn and ancient feast, Jesus suddenly changes the ritual. He proclaims that the bread and wine are now his body and blood, given for the salvation of all, so that he can be with us forever. In the Eucharist, Jesus gives us his body and blood, testifying to the end his love for all humanity, for whose salvation he will offer himself in sacrifice. Pope St. John Paul II, the Rosary of the Virgin Mary. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. John 13, verse 1. Jesus, realizing his hour had come, 
gave us the Eucharist so that he would never depart from us and to make us sharers in his passion. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 1337. Jesus, you died so you could always be with me. Especially in the Eucharist, help us to receive you often into our heart so that we can always be with you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When it was evening, he reclined at the table with the twelve. Matthew 26, verse 20. The twelve. Jesus' closest disciples, expecting the triumphant reign of the Messiah, gathered to celebrate the Passover with their beloved leader. Dear Jesus, thank you for the intimacy we share with family and friends, especially at meals. Stay with us always. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then he took the bread, said a blessing, broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my blood, this is my body, which will be given for you. Do this in memory of me. Luke 22, verse 19. Jesus, the Passover lamb of the new covenant, freely gives his body for the life of the world. Lord, you gave up your body for us. Help us give up our body for you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my body of the covenant which will be shed on behalf of many for the forgiveness of sins. Matthew 26, verse 27 to 28. Just as the blood of the Passover lamb saved Israel from death, the blood of Jesus saves us from our sins. How can we repay the Lord? How can I repay the Lord for all the good done for me? I will raise the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Psalm 116, verse 12 to 13. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Mark 14, verse 25. In the Eucharist, Jesus foresees the day when we will be gathered into heaven with him forever in the wedding feast of the Lamb. Jesus we feel sad for you, for the suffering and loneliness ahead in your passion. Yet, we also look forward with you to your reign of love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I no longer call you slaves. Because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. John 15 verse 15. The father held nothing back from Jesus and Jesus holds nothing back from us. Lord, you call me to share your love with the world. Help us to go forth and bear fruit for you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. So you always, you also should love one another. John 13 verse 34. 
All our successes are successes of love, and all our failures are failures to love. O oh God, please help us to love others with your love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. John 13, verse 35. The only way the world will know we belong to him is if we love. Lord, we are available. Change our heart, O God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then, after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives, Matthew 26, verse 30. The Passover ended with psalms sung in praise to God. Thus Israel worshipped God as Jesus prepared for the sacrifice. Lord, you instruct us to praise you always and everywhere. I praise you now, my Lord and my God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For the rising of the sun, even to its setting, my name is great among the nations, and everywhere they bring sacrifice to my name and a pure offering. For great is my name among the nations, says the Lord of hosts, Malachi 1 verse 11. Jesus fulfilled Malachi's prophecy in this first Eucharist, which has been repeated endlessly from the rising to the setting of the sun. Lord, your word is perfect. We thank you for your body and blood, soul and divinity given to us in the Eucharist. May your kingdom come. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee cry, for banished children of Eve, to thee do we cut. We send our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious, advocate thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech to thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Mama Mary. All the angels and saints who are here with us today, please bestow the same graces and blessings to those who pray your warriors who could not join us because of Wi-Fi issues. For those who are about to start their day, deliver them not from temptation. May all their words and all their works will be pleasing to God. And for those who are about to rest, please give them a tranquil and undisturbed rest. We ask this to the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. Thank you for joining from Arizona. And of course, my friend Inoy from California. 
And oh, Tita Nori, thank you for joining us. And uh, mahal pa rin kita. Thank you for joining from uh, Igbaras. And of course, Manong Onyo, thank you for joining from Las Vegas. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, so if it's 7.30 and I'm not still live, that means that I could not make it because I'm working for the next few days. Okay? God bless everyone, and I will offer all your intentions as I go to Mass today.